Those enforcement measures have, have captured a lot of headline space around the world, Andrew. Um, sometimes it's difficult to get a perspective uh, from a distance. Uh, I, I read, actually, I mean, we've had this conversation to and, to and fro, as I say, in recent weeks, but you, could, you, you will read stuff here in London suggesting that actually there are lots of people in Ottawa who just wanted those freedom protests out of the way. Yeah, that's certainly true. I mean, at the very beginning, the honking was particularly incessant, and there was a court challenge about that. The judge granted an injunction, and by and large, the honking stopped. And one of the other points that had developed in the last couple of weeks is the trucks that had been in residential areas all in an agreement with the government had moved downtown. Now, it was still disruptive. I'm not saying that at all, but the question is, did that disruption rise to the level of a national emergency triggering what are ultimately wartime measures and which as you mentioned in your introduction there the government is still insisting need to be in place for a blockade and a protest that at this point no longer exists yeah i you know we were talking i think andrew last week making the point that if you look for instance at some of the protests that have really irritated people in the UK recently, the Insulate Britain protests. You may have heard of them. Uh, people with an environmental agenda uh, blocking major arterial roads, busiest motorway in the country, the M25. Uh, police looking at times quite impotent to do anything ab about it. If the British government had invoked emergency powers reserved for terrorists, I think even people you know, like me who were critical of the protesters, their objectives, aims and tactics would have thrown our hands up in the air and said, too far. Yeah, I think you're right there. I mean, one of the leaders of this protest is in jail right now. She was denied bail by a judge this morning and is in jail indefinitely on a charge of mischief. You have a government that's still going after uh, freezing bank accounts without a warrant, without even the accusation of a crime of people that it says were connected to the protest in some way with very broad latitude as far as how they apply that definition and, and no legal recourse. So it is quite significant, and the implications of this for other protests are as well. But interestingly enough, even some of those who have supported the indefinite extension of this emergency have said, yeah, but it's different from when environmentalists are protesting. It's different when unions are protesting. Well, really? Just because you don't like this particular protest doesn't mean that you're not giving future governments that aren't on side with what you believe license to take the same approach to protests that are inconvenient to them.